Hi, sorry. Welcome back, everybody, to this is my permit podcast. I'm Rose Perry. I'm Eric. With me, Eric. <laughs> sorry, my technology just failed like as we were supposed to start. So it came out as ah. We don't need no technology right now. Yeah, here. we're fine. We're fine. Hey, man. What's up? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a. This is a late boy. Oh, it's uh, going to get wild. We have not recorded a podcast this late uh, in like maybe a year or so. Well, you know, holidays come around. Yeah, people want to hang out and they want to. You know, you just gotta. You gotta. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's how it goes. To get the content out to the lovely listeners and watchers. We said a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember if it was on the main feed or on the Patreon, but. We do a lot of like working around our schedules to yeah. make sure that we get these uh, these things recorded for you, dear listener, and uh, for our folks over at Patreon as well, patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. For as little as a dollar a month, you can support the show, but at $5 a month, there's bonus content over there as well. Uh, a bonus episode that comes out every Monday, and then the pregame chats, which come out before the main episode, and the uncut version. Uh, of the main episodes as well. Very, so, um, I will I will say this week's uh, pregame chats, very uh, serious. Very extremely I mean, weird. I mean, it's something that everybody should talk about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, you know, it's not nothing that we would normally talk about on a main episode, but, you know, you might want to check that one out. It's just important sometimes yeah. to, <clears throat> to check in. You know, it's always good you to know? retell the past. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe from a different view or something. Yeah. yeah. Or a certain one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm starting something. Well, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving week. Um, we're going to talk about the things that we poured for ourselves. Uh, a little bit later on, we got a review coming up at you. We're also going to be taking a look at a uh, something a little different. What? Uh, a beer. What? <clears throat> yes, that was. Uh, we'll we'll, 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 talk, about we'll talk about it. In my beer podcast. Yeah, why not? But we are kicking off this week with a flying blind that is truly <laughs> like a double blind. Double blind. Like neither of us know what this Ooh, is. I love a good double blind. I have the uh, the info, the details in Thanks. my email inbox. Okay. So we'll look at that. We also have a little thing of we have that. I don't know if this if was is it wrote on there? I I think I was told <laughs> initially that it was, but it, I love it's just scribble. Yeah, but, but, I don't know. <laughs> um <laughs> I uh Lu Lucy got home. This is what we're drinking. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on it. Look at that. How about that? <laughs> uh Lucy got home from her dad's last week. <clears throat> was like she just puts the sample bottle down on the counter i was like what is this she goes oh that's for the episode next week oh, i was like oh okay slams well, it down great i don't know what this is and when i was talking about it with her so so it was provided to her by brett okay. my father-in-law right uh who at thanksgiving asked lucy did you do the thing yet <laughs> Meaning, like, give him, give me the Did sample. You do the thing, yeah. Um, and then, as I was leaving to come over here, she was like, "I don't even, I don't even know what you're going to think about this." She does was she like, know "The what fact, it is? yes, she okay. does." She was like, "The fact that this even exists blows my mind." Oh Lord! So I don't know what we're about to dive into here, but all right. Well, I Brett. will, say, I will say it looks really nice. It's got a great like. Honey amber color to it. We don't talk about the color of. We don't. We should much. talk about the color more. I think we only talk about the color if it's really dark or really light. Yeah. But never when it's just like a really satisfying. Like you look at this and it's like, this is bourbon. It's got right? Good legs, too. It really does. I got to admit, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Why does it smell like beef jerky? I was getting ready to say it's got a <laughs> greasy, it's got a greasy nose. It smells like something greasy. It's, it doesn't, it smells like the Slim Jim wrapper. Yeah, <laughs> that's a hundred percent what it smells like. <laughs> like overly processed beef jerky or beef snacks. You know what I mean? This is interesting. Okay. okay. Well. All right. That's that's our notes on the nose. 
What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, is that? Is that like? Is that like boozy apple cider with? It's like, weird because like midway through it starts to turn into like. That's not like a honey whiskey. syrup. That's what. What? I'm so confused. Right I don't now. hate it. I don't. I feel like it's. I feel like it's, it's just the, strange. I feel like it's part of something bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were the only strange tasting whiskey out there. I feel like your the, world's about to get a whole lot bigger. I feel like this is like something that you mix up and then you add it to like some kind of like punch or like a. Like that, this is one piece of a bigger picture. It does feel very liqueur. It's, it, like it, it's, it's more liqueur coating, for me. It's coating my throat. It's in really a nice. Weird way. Yeah, I I kind of like it. It's like smooth, but like it's giving me that like you know when you uh, get chocolate and you have chocolate or something and you get like that little yeah. bit of gooby in there. You know what it almost reminds me of? It almost reminds me of like a a. An American honey or a Jim Beam honey or something like that. I could see that. But it's smoky. <laughs> it's like it got left. It's like if American honey. Slim Jim honey. <laughs> snap into it. <laughs> it's like if it got left out. Like it started out as like a honey finish or a honey infused or whatever. And it got left out next to like a bonfire overnight. And it just kind of soaked up all the. Almost like a smoked honey cocktail. There's more honey in it when I go back. Yes. Absolutely. What is this? Honey barbecue wings. Part of it feels too like a mead. See, I don't know nothing about no mead. I brought you some to try. Mead? Yeah, remember? Hmm. I thought you said beer. Not now. Oh. Before. Oh, yeah, we did have that mead. It was like, what, thousand-year-old mead or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> we got part of it right pretty much curveball barbecue whiskey 68 proof from Pewaukee, wisconsin that now i'm gonna see if lucy emailed me any more information about this i mean we were pretty on it with meat and Grease and <clears throat> curveball, the original barbecue whiskey. Throw it back. Throw okay. Sweet and smoky. Throw it right back at you. Um. Okay. We can't get enough barbecue. This is the back label. If pitmasters don't sell out, we'd eat it morning, noon, and night to satisfy our appetite. We put the barbecue behind the bar. Savor sweet, smoky heat, meet American whiskey. How's that for a curveball? Now, curveball, by the way, is spelled K-U-R-V-B-A-L-L. -L. Uh, shoot, mix, or straight out of the bottle like barbecue sauce. It does taste like a, not a vinegar-based, like a tomato-based barbecue sauce. God. It, Doesn't I, it, though? Smell of it one more time now. It gets smokier like the longer we keep... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I I don't dislike it. It's just weird and different. It's... Imagine imagine cooking with this. Like using this for a barbecue recipe. Well, I mean, I could see mixing this in some sort of barbecue sauce. You you know what I would really kind of like to see with this? Add like a half ounce or an ounce to an old fashioned and then smoke the old fashioned. Ooh, that would be good. What if we added actual bourbon to this? Okay, let's try it. Which kind? Um Hawaiian bourbon. <laughs> Will it purple top? <laughs> These are all poured from the floor. <laughs> Yeah, let's What's that? that four roses? 
Is that just regular small batch or is that small batch select? Let's do that. I'm curious. I've been such on a small batch select kick recently that I'm just I'm just really unsure of how this would work together. No, but that was a lot that was in there for pours from the floor too. So Okay, pours from the floor by the way for anybody who doesn't know, that's one of our bonus shows we do over on Patreon. Yeah, there was like four ounces in there. <laughs> we yeah, normally wow, the <laughs> those have happened. No, 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 actually, don't mind it because it's got that like it's got the smoky barrel char to it, but then the fruitiness that you get from a nice balanced bourbon gets kind of introduced as well. You know what it smells like? It smells like grilled pineapple with barbecue sauce over it. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Ooh, that's got a weird finish. Honestly, I don't hate it. It's a little sour. A Maybe bit. that's the pineapple you were talking about. Yeah. I think it needs more bread. <laughs> Just joking. Um, but when, I mean, I, I you did like a one-to-one, you know, but I think that it would, if you added it as just like a little, like a little squirt of little squirt. flavor. A little, little squirt. A little squirt. <laughs> what, what, a, what a commercial for a bottle. <laughs> a full bottle. You know, for use a, a squirt. For a little of squirt of flavor. It. <laughs> it's like, like I said, it's one part of a big picture. I completely agree. It's the Especially squirt. after. It's, it's the, uh, you, why do you top it off? Uh, the floater. Yeah. It's the floater. It's a floater. Yeah. It's a floater of a smoke it's a squirt, fashion. It's a squirt floater. It's a squirter. <laughs> that's the new that's our new bartending term. I need to get a squirter over here. <laughs> Anybody got a good squirter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say we, uh, I got the curveball. We got um Tiffany. She's out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got that Tiffany small batch. This Great is squirter. again. This is weird, but I like it. It's just different, you know. I, I again, like, I don't find myself. I won't find myself going. I need to have just a big pour of this. The price. I want to know the price. If this is like a legit, like, okay, let's twenty let, to thirty dollar thing. I would, I would consider this for cocktails. Do you want to? Okay, let's guess before I look it up. Do you want to go with a high price or do you want to go with a low price? I'm saying this is 25 max. My guess, my initial guess was 35.99. I'm going to say 27.99. Okay. If this is 50 close to 50 or above, I'm going to I'm going to There's no way. I'm going to flip this table over. There's no way. I will flip this table over. Yo. Twenty two ninety nine. Okay, I can get behind this. That's not bad at all. I can get behind this because you know when you when you're making a like say a cocktail that has tons of different things, you don't want to have to pay a bajillion dollars just yeah. for that one. I can do that. I can do that. I changed my mind a little bit about this. The the lowest I'm seeing it for is sixteen ninety nine. The highest I've seen it for is twenty six ninety nine. I will at twenty five dollars, I will backtrack and say, I'd get, I'd get this just for the fun factor. Well, I, I, that's kind of where I'm landing too with it, and I think that you know we're so we're, we're so groomed at this point to anticipate that. Oh, I thought it was going to be fifty. Things are, yeah, more. that's what I was about to say. But it, I mean, there's no way that they could f- market a flavored whiskey like this as a semi premium bottle. I wonder what. Oh, now that's a great idea. That's good right there. We added Coke Zero. Let's do another layer to this. <laughs> the iceberg deepens. That might be where it's at right there. If this was a cherry Coke. Or if you put some cherry. cherry that's not bad. In, this might be where it's at. 
I could do this. I could do this. Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> I can win. I, I can, can win. win. I can't do it. Deep we cut win. reference for anybody. <laughs> so, so now the question is, when you make the curveball and Coke, do you add bourbon to it? I think you need to. So, I think it's too sweet. And Coke is inherently so sweet that you need something that's a little bit more alcohol forward to kind of cut it all. That's just a, a, like an old label for a uh, sample. History. Um, I think this is where it's at. I think you've got to give it a little bit more bourbon flavor. Mm-hmm. Not flavoring, but bourbon to add some flavor to it. And like you said, knock off that weird like fake taste. But I will say when we added the bourbon... That smoky, weird kind of meat kind of like came through as more of like a a like a sweet barbecue sauce, yeah, as opposed to just like smoke, yeah. And then the coke, I like the coke. I'm not in upset there. about it. I like the coke. Not ups- <laughs> 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 I thought you were clearing your nose and you lost your mind. Um, yeah, that was a very interesting journey. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Lucy. Thanks, Brett. It's fantastic. What have you been drinking recently? Which I guess is kind of also my way of asking, what um, would you have for Thanksgiving? I went a little different route this year because I couldn't decide what I wanted. Um, you know, there's always the turkey and all this stuff. But, you know, I was, I was trying to just chill, didn't have nothing going on. And you... What's that like? <laughs> well... I think I say this every year now. One day, I, w- I wish that... You know, I don't want to take you away from your family, but I wish that you could come over and see what it's like just to get up, just throw the turkey, get the turkey ready because that's your job. And then you can sit back and you just chill the rest of the day because you do a lot of traveling. Perry literally goes mm-hmm. to 20 different places. It's and- worse at Christmas. We really only had, we really only had like three Thanksgiving meals this year, but all three of them were over two days. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, and it, it can it can be a lot, but I mean, it's just so, part of it. So you text me and was kind of asking, you know, what you should have. And then I said, you know what? You tell me what I should have. I said, I want to do cocktails. Today. Yeah, because my, my question was very simple. It was, is it, too, is it early? too early for for turkey? I said, what's the situation? And I was like, just straight vibes, man. Oh. Now, it wasn't straight vibes the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> I said, go for it. Um, and I said, I'm in a cocktail mood. And I, I didn't get any bottles out in particular. I just said, I want to have some old fashions today. And you said, why don't you do this? I said, why don't you make an old fashioned right. with Russell's uh, small batch, yep. 10 year 90 proof. Yep. And then for a little extra spice, Drop you a, <laughs> a squirt of um, a little squirter of on top. Turkey One Hundred One Rye. I did that, and which it, was kind of the inspiration for this week's uh, review as well. So, which we'll get to. And it was delicious. And I even posted on my Instagram to message you for the secret recipe. Guess how many people asked me? How many? Zero. <laughs> Literally, no one. <laughs> But but if I say message my daily bourbon for this bottle of blends, <laughs> it just exactly. blows up. No, it was good because it was like, Ooh. what did I say when I was talking to you? It was almost like just like this elevated, like it was like a smooth, um, old fashioned. But that rye on top, all, like gave it this extra kick that I loved. I made like three of those, and that's all <laughs> I drank. Nice. I drank one around noon. I drank another around like three. And I drank another as my not cap. You said it's a spicy boy, kind of like adding a shot of espresso to coffee. Yeah, it was like the top off just elevates it. Yeah, it's like if you take a good cup of coffee and then add a little extra es- espresso to it, like you just get that kick. And that's how it was. Give me that glass, boy. <clears throat> that didn't like tell that. me what to do. Didn't like it. Um, and that's that's it. I had and it was a I kept with the theme. It was turkey, um, and it was a double double bird. Perry, du- Perry's Double Bird Special. Gob- double gobble. Double gobble. Extra. Two gobbles in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> double gobble, extra. Fashion. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? What were you going to say? Yum. Oh, okay. I'm making sure you said yum. What do you think I was going to say? You don't want to know. 
<laughs> um, but that's it. <laughs> that's it. And I just, uh, we made dinner, had the turkey, had a couple of plates, and I sat back and I just listened to Perry describe <laughs> all the events that surrounded him for the day. <laughs> and it was amazing i watched football <laughs> and i checked my phone and your half game your halftime show was me telling you yes some of the crazy things that were said around jack me. carlo's halftime show was horrible dolly dolly was great bring it, bring it baby bring it dolly's was, was top tier man did you see the did you see the comparison jack carlo's yes stage? i did it was, oh, so, it was funny. so funny and i even like i think april was busy doing something i go Hey, bro, what what is Jack Harlow doing right now? <laughs> and she was busy. She couldn't do anything. And I was just sitting there going, what is happening? And then I'd check up on my phone and be like, what's Perry doing? And he'd be telling me something. And it was, <laughs> it's honestly was such a fun Thanksgiving I, just I, following along I'm, with you. I, I, yeah. There were some wild, th- nothing like, what is, I'll tell you in a second. Um, nothing like, you know, obscene or racist or anything. It was just funny little isms that were said throughout the day that i uh, i kept texting eric about because they made me giggle and it made me laugh too. <laughs> was, i said don't was... leave stay long <laughs> <laughs> so what'd you drink um i primarily stuck to turkey yeah as well uh we didn't have a big production for our social media this year like we did All last I did year i literally did a 69 and for the day before for it and uh because everybody else paired yeah stuff. exactly somebody else made a turkey out of uh wild turkey bottles yeah never heard of that before never seen that. you made a nice little picture i did yeah i'll throw didn't it up on screen too for anybody didn't tag i don't it. like tagging just random people i'm a random no, person that's not what i mean <laughs> <That's> not- <laughs> What is this? What I don't I don't okay. I'm so you know the kidding. like you know the like tag barrage that I do it. People do I just don't I don't like doing it. Um so like so if you're I not do it and you don't tag me and stuff. <laughs> I told him before, listen, yeah. I, I sent him a text message and I said it's been too long. I want to make you sweat this <laughs> It's been a, I know, it's been a week. I know how to get him. Yeah. No, I um, man. It was a good picture. But Who's uh hands it, for that. Uh mine and my dad's. Um. So I which was which? Couldn't tell. (laughs) I'm just joking. (laughs) Really? (laughs) I'm just joking. Um, But I just kind of came up with it. I like kind of last minute and the picture. uh, Lucy's uh, cousin did. See, I'm imagining everything right now. Well, it initially started like what I I was trying to figure out how to frame it, and I was trying to figure out how to like make it look because I originally wanted like a fork and a knife in there, but then the way that like our hands were reaching over, you couldn't really make out the fork and the knife as well. And Take my small hand, um, yeah. <laughs> Take my strong hand. Um, and Lucy and Sarah at one point were like putting their hands on like different dishes like they were trying to like you know pick up pass around and everything it just didn't work as well um so it just it it just worked super super well with the turkey being the focal point and me and my dad like handing the glass off to each other the nice thing about that Passing photo too, here's here's what i here's what i like about th- this is where my like art school kid brain comes into um i liked that we both had our hands on the glass at the same time, so you can't really tell like who's passing it to whom, mm. you know. So you leave the the viewer to decide exactly. But it's cr- like cross generational, and you're like, you know, yeah. art has meaning. <laughs> I don't know if you're thinking about this for a while, yeah, right? Um, but anyway, I uh, turkey mostly throughout the day. <clears throat> Sorry. I've been gleeking a lot recently. Squirting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gleeking. <laughs> <laughs> this is the squirting episode. <laughs> the long awaited squirting episode of Timbit. <laughs> Feels bound to happen. <laughs> we do it for long enough. And we just, it just happens. It just happens. <laughs> It's natural, right? It's a natural thing. It's coming. It's coming, all right. It's a coming. 
Uh, <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, so mostly turkey throughout the day. Yeah. Um, I got cut. I had one bottle that was kind of my special bottle. What was it throughout the day? <clears throat> this is part of a larger story, <laughs> and this is going to go on for a little while. Like I'm not going to divulge everything this week. Divulge. <laughs> I was watching a bunch of his videos. Last week. Yeah, that. that's right. Um, I'm, I'm not going to tell the whole story just yet, but I did pick up the new pride of. Oh, sorry. Oh, an old get, a, school get an old school Knob Creek pick uh, off a of buddy <clears throat> on Facebook. Um, more to uh, more to come from this in the next few weeks. Uh, that. I I I don't I don't want to like I I don't try to like tease things too hard, but there is more to me getting this bottle that also is like steeped in Timbit lore that I am so excited about. So by next week, we will have the follow up to. What I'm getting at with this guy. So uh, we'll also have a little bit of this in a bit. Uh, but before I go any further, talking about what uh, I've been drinking recently, uh, got to talk about what we're drinking right now, which is wheat science. Wheat science. Uh, this is an imperial stout aged in wheated bourbon barrels. Now, this isn't just any. Imperial Stout aged in weeded bourbon barrels. Tell me about it. This is an Imperial Stout aged in Wilderness Trail weeded bourbon barrels. Oh. And it was a barrel of Wilderness Trail weeded bourbon picked by oh. It's Bourbon Night. Oh, that one. This one. The one that they said they didn't have anymore. Of yep, 12.4% <laughs> When I asked them about it. Um, they had more. I had this at their big bourbon night. Chad was out running some errands today. Asked if anybody needed a drop off, and I said, "Yes, please." Um, so I've I've bought four cans of this. Um, I wanted to share the first one. Well, thank with you. you. So, pretty, pretty I know you're not the biggest. I'm not stout guy, <laughs> and but don't, don't hold anything. I, I think you've I had say. more stouts on this podcast than you had in your entire stouts. life before. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's just how it is. Smells not as soy saucy as I normally oh, get. Oh, I forgot that was your tasting note. Yeah. Those, yeah. yeah. Smells I, cherry. I think it's I think it's kind of grainy, too. Not in a bad way. But like it reminds me of like cereal grain. Okay. Well. Is Fruit Loops considered cereal grain? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like Fruit Loops. Yeah, I could totally see that. Mm. Oh, it's so chocolatey. I will say that's way more approachable than some of the other ones we've had. Mm -hmm. And that's just me as the person yep. who doesn't drink stout beers. Um, well, you have to remember, too. I mean, Chad and Sarah are not particularly beer drinkers either, especially stouts. Well, what made them... Make a beer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. I, I truly do not have the answer. Love um, the can. But I the black I, can with that. Oh, the black can is so lick, yeah, dude. Good. One of a kind beer for one of a kind people. Oh yeah, sorry. I should have said it's um it's with Mirror Twin in Lexington, so they partnered with a, a craft brewery. This is cool though. Yeah. So are these? going to be in stores or are they only available i believe members? that they might be this for looks just sale. like something i'd see at ernie sitting on that counter yeah right uh but they did also have a uh, coffee that was made uh aged I, I i think it was in the yeah it was aged in the barrel that housed uh this beer which housed the whiskey triple barrel we, i get for sure kind of yeah kind of 
Um, but I got a I got a bag of that as well. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how they're they're selling it, but uh, it's cool. I think it's. Really I don't nice. mind it. Yeah. I don't mind it. I I see. I this is this is me and Stouts. This is me and Stouts right here. I probably just need like a Glen Karen for Stouts. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> I will sip on this. Yeah, I can't. It it feels so thick. Yeah, it is heavy. It is definitely so heavy. Um, but like, <laughs> but like, I don't feel Whoa. like I don't feel like I could ever drink a whole <laughs> one of these myself unless I was like just going. Bleh. Oh, brother! There was a time during the pandemic, and for for a little while too, like if Lucy would go out of town. Just I would pound in these. I would get up on a Saturday. I would make myself just a big old breakfast. I'd have some coffee beforehand, but then I would go and I would get a stout and I would drink it with my breakfast. And I was asleep by eleven. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> and it was great, but it was just it was. A well, if you didn't have nothing to do, then uh, that sounds like a great. Saturday. I probably did. But <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. I should... Did you get that John Perry? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm doing it like as she's pulling yeah. in the yeah. driveway. <laughs> it's almost done. Why are you sweating? <laughs> nothing. Um, just worked out. But yeah, I mean, I I, I don't drink stouts nearly as much as I used to. Um, we we forewent. We decided to forego. <laughs> we decided to forego uh, getting media samples of the Bourbon County Stout bottles this oh, year. Yeah, those just came out, didn't they? Yeah. Um, I I just didn't. I was in the middle of moving, and there were too many other moving parts going on that I just didn't say anything about them. Uh, like, do we get an email or anything? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Has anybody like talked about it? I know people were talking somebody, about it in the Discord. Somebody stuff. in the Discord, by the way, you can get access to our Discord uh, via the Patreon. Do it. Um, <laughs> uh, it was Patrick on the Discord. <laughs> uh, he said the Bananas Foster is one of the best versions of Bourbon County Stout that I've had. Banana bread pudding topped with bourbon infused caramel sauce Bananas and vanilla Foster. ice cream. Yeah. So what was it finished in? I don't know. Like, because usually it's like, we did it in this whiskey barrel. We did it in this whiskey barrel, right? Yeah. But what was Banana Foster? Good times? <laughs> <laughs> we did. We finished our stout in Good Times Banana Foster barrels. USA Today reviewed. Well, it's for the win.usa or ftw.usatoday.com. FTW. Wait. This is too much. That's man. what I used to. That's that's what I used to tell the kids. My FTW tattoo stood for for the win. For the win. It doesn't stand for that. <laughs> this beer was brewed with banana and cinnamon. It features more than ten thousand pounds of almonds in the form of whole roasted, sliced, and granulated nuts. Okay, I kind of want to try that. Oh, I really want to try it, but it just was. It, it was just one of those years where it. I didn't. Like something had to give. Is that one pretty much sold out? Probably. I I don't know. It seems like people are finding it pretty easily. Uh, it also seems like the Angels Envy finished one was really really popular. Ooh. So I doubt we'll get to try that one. Um, but I'll do I'll do my best to see. Like I I genuinely have not had a chance to even go to a store. Uh, since <laughs> I wasn't getting out on Black Friday. Either. No, no, screw that. Um, I had to and, go to work. <sighs> I did not work on on Black Friday. I feel like I, I didn't been. have to, but I, I had so you much needed to. I didn't want to be coming in on Monday and getting caught up yeah. with everything. So, and it was really quiet at work, and it was actually kind of nice. I stood. I was in my office, and I just put my podcast on while I was working in the nice. office. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, so, anyway, this is good. This is great. This is probably better than uh, the Goose ones. That's 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 Whiskey Mutants hot take thing. High proof hot take. There you go. Um, Hopefully they give me one of those secret bottles of... <laughs> Never mind. Other things I've been drinking. Uh, we came over here, actually, mm-hmm. for a little Friendsgiving as well last weekend. Um, Perry played Spider-Man on PlayStation. Spider-Man 2, he's not played Spider-Man 1, and he did something that I had not even done before. <laughs> 
Somehow Perry figured out how well, to make it's ba- Spider-Man be worse, <laughs> a worse person. <laughs> and it, like he was swinging in the wrong direction a few times. Yeah. And... Okay. So let's let's back up for a second. Yeah, so first of all, um, we re- good pours, though, we recorded last Friday yeah. as well, yeah. and so from a, about one o'clock in the afternoon up until we left around nine, I was here. Yeah. And so I had started drinking at one o'clock. Oh no, we stayed late. I was gonna say you didn't leave. We stayed at like eleven, or we stayed until like eleven. Yeah, it was like I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Addison's boyfriend hadn't left yet. (laughs) Somehow, don't bring that up. (laughs) Not my monkey, not my circus. Anyway, (laughs) but we—I mean, we had been drinking for a while (laughs) that day, and you were like, "I really want you to try out." The new Spider-Man game. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm so down for it. Because I wanted to anyway, because I, you know, big well, Spider-Man the, and the fan. The thing and... about the game is I didn't, like, start a new game and do all this stuff. Because... Yeah, you dropped me right into the middle of but, the the first half of the game. No, you, it's not going to mess up my game. So I was like, get in there, boy. <laughs> Be Spider-Man. So, first of all, not having played a Spider-Man game previously, other than, like, Nintendo 64 and uh, PC <laughs> way back in the day and Game Boy. You oh, ever played man. the Game Boy Spider-Man oh, yeah. games? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah bad. Um, <clears throat> I had to very quickly figure out how to uh, web swing as Spider-Man. And uh, there was a good portion of it that where I just ran through New York City. And then swung backwards. <laughs> he swung, and not like yeah, you can go backwards and stuff. But Perry did stuff that like I had not even. Like, I didn't know you could swing like, backwards. He was like it, the game glitched or something, and <laughs> Spider Man was literally going backwards, like like he was normally going forwards. <laughs> and then he, then he, then he messed up a homeless then, person. No, nah, then I get so while I was uh, running around, I I was trying out some of the other. <laughs> Some of the other controls. And I ran into a person, just a regular New Yorker. And Eric's like, hit the, hit the triangle, hit the triangle. I was like, what do you mean? And like, we gave each other a high five. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> then, <laughs> trying to figure out, I see on the screen, it's like a particular command on the controller. And I hit it, and it <laughs> you, you grab a trash can with your webs, and it spins you around, and then you slam it down. And there was, <laughs> there was a homeless person in the game who was just sitting on the side of the street, and I <laughs> hit him with a trash can. <laughs> yeah, you got the evil Spider-Man award. I was trying to avoid that one. I'm trying to swing around. I'm 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 jumping back into the air. I was like, this isn't good. I jump back into the air. <laughs> trying to swing. I'm going backwards again. <laughs> I've never seen. I've never I'm seen. Like, uh, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Where am I going? I don't feel like Spider-Man. And the two of us just absolutely said, lost. I don't want to be Spider-Man. I don't feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> I lost it. Our wives didn't know what was happening, but I was crying. <laughs> I was, I was, I could not breathe. That was the funniest thing. I was crying and I could not breathe. <laughs> it's just, there's just something fun about watching somebody try to play a video game when they, for the first time. And, but when they, when you know they know how to play video games, like it's not like, yeah, Harry plays video games all the time. Like he plays more than me, probably. <laughs> but just something when you, you see somebody trying to figure out the controls. <laughs> And then they get so discouraged with themselves. Well, the the, the and worst. And he loves Spider Man so much, and he's probably <laughs> so mad at himself that he's I was so frustrated. <laughs> he's like, "This is I'm supposed to be a good Spider Man." Right I'm now. so I'm so bad too about like watching other people play a video game and then being like, "I could do that." <laughs> 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 and then you drop me into the middle of New York City. I'm like. Uh. <laughs> It was like my fingers turned into like worms and I couldn't figure out how to control. When you said, I don't feel like Spider Man. I got lost. Dude. I laughed so hard. That was... And I was like, How are you doing this? I generally did not understand what was happening. Oh, oh man. It's been, it was so fun. It was good. We had a bunch of pours. 
What else did we have that night? We had um, uh, we had a Willet purple top. Willets. Um, what else? We had we had a, Knob we, Creek that you brought. No, oh, the Makers. Oh yeah, the Future Proof. That was my uh, um, my birthday bottle from Papa Ritter. Yeah. Um, we had a Stag Junior. Mm-hmm. We had. What else did we have? We had something. We had a lot. We did have a lot. Yes. Yeah, it was a long day, but it was a fun day. It was fun. Um, so we got to start planning our Christmas stuff. We do. I have to bring bottles over there for that one. Yeah, we're doing it at, uh, at, at <clears throat> our house this year. So in trying to figure out what uh, we were going to review for this week, I realized that somehow we have never reviewed Wild Turkey 101 Rye. That's crazy. So appropriate, of course, because we both drank this on uh, Thanksgiving Day. I did. I killed my bottle. You did. I have the big boy. The the leader, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's crazy. They sell it in the seven fifties now. I thought it was always going to be in the liters. I know, but yeah. it's fine. One of my favorite, like this, is not talked about enough. I don't think. I I agree. It's it, it's it's very much. Golly, <laughs> what? Nothing. In the kind of public, not public, but it's in the bourbon drinkers conscious. Like they know that it exists, but nobody's ever really talking about it. Yeah, you're right. It's just not oh. widely spoken about, but it's it's such a great utility rye oh, yeah. on its own, but it's still a great sipper as well. Oh, we can do, uh, April loves it. That's why the, we I didn't have that much left cuz she loves it. She loves that and old faux rye in her old fashions. I do love old forester rye. I do. A, I do too. I think yeah. this gives it this just has a little bit more spice on it and it's got one more proof so it wins. I will say too. It is just straight up a rye whiskey. There is no doubt from the nose moving forward. It's that rye it's a rye whiskey and apple. I I get I get on, a lot of brown sugar too on turkey rye, especially in <clears throat> rare breed rye. It is so appley to me. It's like an apple sucker, and this oh, okay. is like like a blow pop. And. <clears throat> this is like the beginning of it, and then when you go up to the rare rude rye, it's like full blown bow pop. Oh yeah, dude, it's just classic rye. Yeah, it's cold outside right now. This is the perfect thing. Maybe it's cold outside. Pour me a rye. I don't want to be Spider Man. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. I don't want to swing around. Baby, it's cold outside. I don't feel like Spider Man. I don't want to be Spider Man. Hit that homeless man <laughs> with a garbage can. <laughs> I didn't feel like Spider Man. <laughs> I'm not a good Spider Man at all. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> I just had a sip already, but um, it it's it's not as intense on the palate as I kind of expect it to be mm. from the nose, but I don't think that it's lacking oh, no. too much. I, I think it is incredibly full bodied. Yeah. I love the finish on this too. The finish is when you get really all the, you get it up front on the sides of your tongue, <clears throat> but oh man. Do you like cheese with your apple pie? Mm -mm. What about pumpkin pie? Cheese with no pie. <laughs> no cheese. No pie with no cheese? Why? Cheese, Why cheese with no pie. <laughs> I know a that's succulent a thing. Chinese meal? I know that's a thing, but <laughs> no cheese on pie. <laughs> I've, I've seen the things. My dad does it. That's crazy. <laughs> I love Bob Ritter. What that's crazy. What a definitive statement. That's crazy. <laughs> it is. And I know a lot of people do, but like I can't. 
No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Have you tried it? Yeah, I kind of like it. Get out of here. <laughs> you and your cheese on sweet stuff. That's crazy. Cheese on the McGriddle. Cheese on pies. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> cheese on Wild Turkey 101 Rye. <laughs> no, I don't like cheese. I don't get the cheese on pie thing. I don't, I don't mind it. Okay. I definitely don't mind this. I love this. Yeah. 25 ish dollars <laughs> a bottle, too. That's a steal. Yeah. Uh, six year old rye, I believe, six or seven year old. Um, there's just so much to be appreciated with this. Of, I mean, not just the price, it, it's, it's very complex. I think it goes a long way to show how at a younger age, <clears throat> rye can be more complex as well yeah. than bourbon can be. Um, not always in the mood for rye over bourbon. Sometimes that mood hits, but I'm I'm genuinely not upset with this. No, no. At all. It's delicious. I love it. Yeah, dude. I guess we'll go ahead and give it the old Tim Bip review um, thing. Nose palette, finish, and price. Each category is out of five. Final score is out of 20. What do you think about the nose, Eric? Four. Mm, it's candy apple. Yeah. Candy apple. I'm going to give it a 3.5. Okay. <clears throat> Calculator on here. because always <laughs> Negative $1,200. <laughs> Are you in the hole? Do you need help? No. <laughs> You don't know how I do my budget. Not yet. <laughs> you don't know how I do my budget. Maybe Sorry. that's how I'm Sorry. positive I was. Sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I'll tell you. I don't care. I don't, but never mind. No, I feel bad. I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me, I need to tell you something oh, after we shit. get done recording, too. I've never told anybody this. It's about looking over at somebody's phone when I wasn't oh, supposed nice. to. Oh, I like it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I love the nose. I I, I, I do I really really give. Enjoy it. I could almost give every wild turkey rye product a, probably about the same nose because yep. I just. I, I mean, I get it in all of them. Even the even the freaking masters keep rye, like it's apple. Are you apple apple apple? Yeah, three point five on the nose for me. I think I'm sticking with three point five on the palate as well. I will go. This is one of those that I'm kind of back and forth. I'm going to do the palette and the finish together. Okay. Uh, I give the palette a three because it kind of, like you said, it's it's just, it's, it's a rye, but like there's just something about the finish. I give, I go back to a four on the finish. I'm going to give the finish a 3.5. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What do you think about the price on this? Five. I mean, it's it, like I can't argue with I mean, the the value based on the quality of it either. I mean, it is so. It is very complex. I think the only thing that's missing for me is just a little bit of proof, but that's subjective. I'm sorry, um, but that's just where I am. No, with I, it. I I would I would prefer for a little bit extra money. Uh, rare breed rye. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But that's just, that's just me. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I think rare breed just elevates all this. Yeah, but in this, how, in I this case, even, I can't even think of that many, like twenty five dollar rye that you mm -mm. can get that are a hundred old Forester rye. But that's about it. What else? Honestly, uh, Rittenhouse, Bottle of Bond. That's one thing I don't have a lot of. Yeah, I, I've never been the biggest fan of Rittenhouse Rye, but I also haven't had it in a while. I'll go back and revisit it. I don't know there's a bajillion like, MGP Rye's we can well, get. Well, sure. But, but the, as far as like, you know, kind of the big names. Big names. I love this thing. Yeah, I do too. Can I, think I have this? Sure. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm fine with a five on the price. Too. Yeah, I'm, which uh, brings us both, I think, to a fifteen point <laughs> five out of uh, yeah, out of twenty. Yeah, so get it, get it. It's it's nice and available and cheap too. There Especially was a, now. 
Yeah, there was a there was a time period too where it wasn't as readily available. But I, I do like that it's now, you know, it's out there. You can get it. Get it. It's winter. Get your rye. It's good at cocktails. I know that for yeah. a fact. I got bad news. What? We don't have a barrel ring this week. What? Yeah. I'm going to give it a pass. It's, it's a, a pass holiday. because we had a holiday this week. I I understand. But that's the only pass you get. That's it. Okay. Well, it's only pass they get. So we'll go into high proof hot takes. Christmas. Um, I've got three. Whoa! <laughs> but I'm not going to say any of them. Um, because <laughs> because you one of them is being passive aggressive. <laughs> um, one of them. I mean, I'm just gonna say the PR team for Timbip sent me a direct message recently that I was a little too much. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> so I'm going to hold all high proof hot takes this week, and I'm going to be positive. Finish that so I can pour you some Knob Creek. But <laughs> yeah, I had a meeting with the PR team. <laughs> I was a bad boy, a bad, bad boy, and I'm not going to say anything. I'll save my high-proof hot takes because I'm having a good time right now. I will say, no, I won't say that. You know what I'm going to say? I'm not going to say it. I will say that my, my labs were off, so I haven't I haven't uh, drank anything since Thanksgiving, which is only a day ago. <laughs> <laughs> As of recording. <laughs> um, so that's my high proof hot take for myself is I need to chill out. Chill out. Yeah. Um, my high proof hot take. My liver labs were good. My cholesterol is bad. I have bad cholesterol right now. I'm a bad boy with cholesterol. <laughs> bad boy with cholesterol. Uh, my high proof hot take occurred on the way over here. Uh oh. Um, at nine o'clock on a Saturday night. <laughs> Manny's got. I Manny, got a, I got a high proof hot take. Y'all recording too late. <laughs> this is her time to be down here and drink from your bottles Ooh. that you don't know about. This smells good. Sorry, that's okay. Don't make your issues with other drivers everybody else's problem. Road rage. Uh I had a classic issue of somebody was just going a little bit too fast and somebody else didn't like that. So they had to make sure that they were put in their place. What they do? What happened? Well, they slowed down in the fast lane as other cars were coming by. Speed matched the other cars that oh, pulled shit. up. And so there was a line of like three of us on both sides in both lanes. We couldn't do anything to fix the situation because the person at the front in the fast lane was blocking the person behind them that they had an issue with. And they kept speed matching the person who was at the front of the, the slow lane. This so that like a it just, it just deadlocked happen. us. There was nowhere for us to go. It was horrible. Anyway, so we, I I just, I hate when others, other people's driving problems become mine too. It's just children. It's just adult children. Adult children. Driving. Adult children. You shouldn't be driving if you're going to be that stupid. Adult children. What about when somebody's, when children in the, I don't know what Minnie's doing. She's She's having a great time playing football. What about when, have you ever been at a red light and children, actual children, are watching like a, like a cartoon? Yes. And, and you like, start oh, watching they're Bluey. Like, oh, they're watching Minions. <laughs> <laughs> you start watching Bluey while yeah. they're watching it. Yeah. So you get distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's not safe. No, of course not. Yeah. Tips and bits, though. Tips and bits. This is our recommendation segment. Things we've been watching, reading, listening to, enjoying. This is, yeah, this is our... Uh, <laughs> Our twenty, I I think it's twenty eighteen. I think is when it was from 2018, 2019. Kroger Knob Creek uh, barrel pick. I like it. So yeah, thirteen years old. I believe is how Ooh. old it is. So how do you find out on these? 
Because they're, they're uh, never I, safe. Because I, just, cause I, I mean, have one over there that we have not opened. I mean, this was just through the guy that I bought it off of. Yeah. He just knew based off one. of. I don't know. I mean, was. honestly, Swan probably remembers too from when he was working at Crozet. Crozet. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the fancy. I miss well, Swan. Yeah. I miss Swan too. Uh, tips and bits. Tips and bits. Uh, I have been watching, or I watched, I finished the new Scott Pilgrim anime. How'd you like it? I I've heard it. I've heard literally nothing about it. So I have heard mixed reviews, and I can tell you why. Because I won't spoil anything because I want you to watch it. But okay. so we we've had Scott Pilgrim the manga, which mm-hmm. I love. It's literally right over there, like. One of my favorite comics. I've read it over and over. And then we've had Scott Pilgrim, the live action movie, which is a great adaptation of this. Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. Brie Larson's in it. Brie Larson's Chris in it. Chris Evans. Um, do you know about uh, <clears throat> Paku Paku? I do not. Okay, never mind. Um, you know. I'm just like, I'm not even doing a bit. I just straight up don't know what you're it's, talking about. It's in the movie. It's Pac Man. He does the Pac Man thing where. He talks to. Talk. I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> You've never seen the movie. I've not seen the movie. Have you read the comic? I have not, but I have them all. <laughs> Do you want to know why I have them all? <laughs> this is the worst thing, too. Hyperbate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me back this train up. All right, um, go ahead. Go so ahead, go ahead. in college. I think it was my freshman year of college before I transferred. Um, I was talking about how I had never seen Scott Pilgrim to somebody or read the manga either. I was going to say, probably, I don't even know. Was the movie out? The movie came out in like 2009, right? Fucking old, man. Jesus. You want me to tell you a funny story? Uh, You tell me. Let me me finish finish this. Hold on. Let me see when Scott Pilgrim movie came out. I'm so old. Scott Pilgrim movie, 2010. Damn. I graduated from high school in 2011. So, Mary Elizabeth old. Winstead. Yeah. Ewan McGregor's wife. Yeah. And Kieran Culkin. That's crazy. Yep. Uh, anyway. Wallace. So, he, uh, I, he was like, I can't believe you've never read Scott Pilgrim. You're seeing the movie. And I was like, this is just not, like, I didn't realize it was so much of a thing. Like, at that point, I didn't even know that it was a manga before it was a right, movie. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, and he was like, okay, well, I'm just going to loan you. You kept them. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I've got the complete, I've got the complete Scott Pilgrim manga. I think it's still at my mom and dad's That's house. Um, you have to read it open. You have to watch these. I don't even remember the guy that lent them to me. Oh, my God. Well, they're yours now. Yeah, they're, no, they're mine. I'll, so I'll read through them. I'll, I will but. say that I started reading and... Like when the last couple were coming out, the comic book shop that I went to at the time, because I would get like weekly comics. Yeah. And now, I mean, I eventually got to where I couldn't, but they didn't even know about it. And I had them order it because I was like, I need this when it comes out and all this. But anyway, so. What is Honey doing right now? She's on her scratching pad. Minnie, oh. stop eating plastic. Minnie. Hey. Minnie. Minnie. What is she doing? She's licking the plastic bag, dude. My cat has gone crazy. Minnie. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You're so cute, though. Um, anyway, it was. it's just, I've loved it for so long. Yeah. Um, and so, the movie changed stuff a little bit, but it was <clears throat> pretty true to the comic. Sure. So when they came out with this anime, which is in the same style as the comic, right? I kind of expected it to be <clears throat> the same. Well, it ain't. Let me ask you something first. Okay. Is it a continuation of the story from the manga? Or is it just another adaptation? It's another adaptation. Okay. All right. Um, and I think that's why people are upset because there are the people. Okay. Who want it to be exactly the same. Right, right. Which, you know, I appreciate that too. But we've already had another adaptation with the movie. So it when we were talking last week about Shaman King. Yes. Um, when we were talking about all the different shonen anime 
to to watch. Right. Um, I didn't realize that there had been two different anime adaptations of Shaman King. There was one from like the early 2000s and another one that came out in like 2021. They do it all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's it it's wild to me that like there hasn't been a new adaptation. Uh, I guess Shueisha or they're not even Shueisha anymore, are they? Um, no, Toei. I don't remember. Anyway, that there hasn't been like a new adaptation of Dragon Ball either. Oh, like starting from the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, you I know, they have the recuts and everything. I think that's too classic to even attempt. I don't that. know. I think I think people it could, would probably riot. I think that if they strictly stuck to the manga, didn't add filler, didn't go completely off track, I think that it would be really, really well received. I would like to see it. There are so many little changes um, between the manga and the anime that would be a more faithful adaptation. For instance, during the fight with Perfect Cell, Gohan in the anime kicks him in the stomach and that's what leads to him vomiting up Android yeah. 18. Yeah. In the manga though, he kicks him in the head. Yeah. And that's Brutal. what makes him throw up Android 18 and it is gruesome. Brutal. I mean it's it's great, but anyway. Um uh, I I don't know, I would like to see less uh less a less filler um More focused. Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um but People are mad because they changed a lot of things. Um, I'm not mad because it's a new story. Um, It's just like a what if. It's almost like it starts out the same and it's like, what if this happened at this time and it changed the rest of the story completely? I like that. So if you are a fan of Scott Pilgrim, I think you're going to like this. Um... If you've not watched it, I would recommend reading or watching. I know the movie. it's on. It it has been on my list for years now. Well, put it what up. year are we in? Twenty twenty three. Push it. Twelve up a years. Bit. Twelve um, years. Um. So yeah, that's that's what I just recently finished. Also, Attack on Titan finally ended after a bajillion years. Really? And I don't think I knew that. No matter how many times I thought that t- Attack on Titan wouldn't like make me feel a certain way, it turns around and it does because like this is like the finale of like part four from like forever ago. Um, just Attack on Titan in general. Sure. Just watch it. You can now watch the whole thing through. It's finally done. I've been mean, I've been watching this show for years and years and years. Um, and what else? Anime wise. Jujutsu Kaisen season two is great. Um, and then, um, I think that's it. Yeah. Scott Pilgrim was my big thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I got. We, um, so have you, you've not watched Letter Kenny, right? Mm. Um, now's as good a time as any to get into it because their final season is coming out next month, uh, which I'm, pretty bummed about but it's been on for a while now this is their 12th season um and i absolutely love the show their uh their spinoff show shorzy uh which is based on one of their kind of side characters who's a hockey player uh he got his own spinoff and uh the second season came out earlier this year six episodes each episode is like 20 to 30 minutes long we blew through it in a night (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> because it was just episodes was it six oh yeah I, I mean it was just an easy watch and we love the the comedy of of letter kenny in that world and everything and uh just had a great time with it so uh i i would definitely recommend you getting into letter kenny because i think that it's the humor that you and i have together is so uh it's so much in line with Letter Kenny uh okay. and their okay. comedy. Okay. Um and then Shorzy, of course, off the back of that. But uh also, okay, so this is less of like because I was thinking about this on the way over here too. I was trying to figure out how to <clears throat> talk about this, not in a way of like you should do this particular thing, 
but because it's not cap- it's it's not something that everybody is capable of. And I, I said I was gonna I, I kind of teased it on I guess it was pores from the floor <clears throat> that I would talk about it on uh, the main episode. Um, but I tried I, I tried the new hottest hot sauce from Hot Ones. Uh, the last dab X experience, which is made from the it is ninety one percent pepper X, which is the new world's hottest pepper. Um, I'll, I'll, and I'll give you I'll give you an idea of how hot it is. So <clears throat> a jalapeno. Let me let me actually look this up so I have this it is exactly. Those ratings that the yes what, PSI. I uh, no that's. That's air. S S H U P S I S H U, which stands for uh, Scoville Heat Unit. Scoville, right? So jalapeno falls between twenty five hundred and eight thousand. See, I poop on myself when I okay. eat a jalapeno. But I'm I'm just giving I'm trying to give you a little bit of context here for how hot my belly's hurting. Just now. Pepper X is. Pepper X set the record for the hottest pepper in the world. Last month, at a base, I believe, of two point six million. How do they scope. measure that? I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. I don't understand it. I don't even pretend to understand uh, <clears throat> how that how that is measured. Um, but I was I was driving over here thinking about it, and you know, I I bought the whole lineup of hot sauces from this season of of hot ones. I'd never done it before. But there were so many different ones that I was curious about. There was one that was made uh, with like pineapple and mango infused in it. Uh, it had their new buffalo sauce in it. It had a barbacoa sauce that uh, is new for this season as well. But then like one of the hottest ones, it was like seven out of ten, was whiskey infused. And I was like, I've got to try that. You say what kind of whiskey? Uh, yes. Uncle Nearest. Really? Yes, nice. it says on the label that like is that. Uncle Nearest infused. I, like that. Uh, I was I was so thrilled when I saw it and it also blew my balls off. It was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, get to the X factor. Well, the X um the X was intense. The X experience. Were you sweating? Yes. It was almost in a me- and it's not that I wasn't sweating beforehand, but I had kind of like calmed down a little do it like bit. The show? Did you interview yourself? No, no. Oh. <laughs> and and I didn't go for a full wing, either. Right? You did it on a wing. I did it. I did a. I did a drop of it on a chip, oh. because I wanted a vessel. I wanted to have something that would you know, um, and it lit me up. I mean, it's it's brutal. It is mostly just uh, intense heat. But here's what I took away from it. And it's it again, you know, you would not be able to do it. It would absolutely destroy you in the hospital. Yeah. But as I was driving over here thinking about it, uh, like I was trying to be introspective about my day. Right. Because I haven't had a whole lot of time uh, on my my break from from work uh, to really kind of like center myself and be in the moment. And it's just been go, 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 go. And I finally had the chance to just think about, like, how did my day go today, right? I got to wake my daughter up. That was fantastic. She ran up, gave me a big hug, you know. Uh, Same thing when I got her up from her nap. I got stuff done around the house. That felt so rewarding. Oh, I know. I love it. You know? But then at, at, at the end of it, I got to try a sauce and this is something that like a couple years ago i don't think i would have had the even like mental fortitude to even approach but a try a sauce made with primarily with 91 percent pepper x the hottest pepper in the world like it's not every day that i do that like that's something that i feel not not pride in but at least it's like I feel like I did something today, you know, that's something I can say, yeah, I've, I've experienced that. No, I'm not saying that like, this is going to escalate into like skydiving or, you know, buying a tank or whatever, you know, I'm just saying like, there's, it, it's, it's not something that 
I typically set out to do in a day, but it's something that I really enjoyed the fact that I got to look back at the day experience. and say, and I, I had that experience. Yeah. So I, I don't know exactly what my like tip and or bit here is. I think it's leaning more towards like challenge yourself to experience something or at least be mindful of the experiences that you have had set out to take in a the day. biggest dump of the day for the world. <laughs> because <laughs> it could be you. It could be you. You never, everybody, look, everybody has that chance. Somebody during a given 24 hour period has had the biggest dump of the day. You if, just don't if know. If I it. came up to you and I was like, Listen, you just don't know it. I ain't got much time left. <laughs> and I want to experience these peppers. Would you? Get them ready for me. With the yes, whole absolutely, absolutely. If it meant that it may end me, well, if that's how you want to go out. How do I want to go out? If okay, I don't want to talk about this. If, <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you could have like a Crohn's free day, oh yeah, yeah. I would one hundred percent say, not only are we doing like the hot ones lineup. You and I are eating whatever you want to. Yeah. Like, I would want to no get, repercussions. I, wanna, no. I would want to get one of those pizzas that I see online where, like, they have a bunch of, the, like, the really cut pepperonis mm -hmm. and they put a thousand of them on there. Mm -hmm. And then they take the sauce and they mix it with the grease and they, like, we talked about this recently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I oh, it was that. on a pregame chat. Um, because if I ate one slice of that, Poop City, I would be out for the day. <laughs> and I watch Hot Ones. And I'm like, oh, I'd love to do that. But I would be out for the day. Yeah. But there, there's this just like. But I want to. I tried. I, see, that's the, that's the I thing. Ruined, I ruined the day of my vacation one time when I was in Tennessee. Because <laughs> I did that stupid hot sauce yeah, yeah, yeah. place in, and, and in Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg. <laughs> yeah. What's it What's it called? Um, like hot ass or something. It's like, like sauce on. Big ass sauce. Some, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love that place, man. I was in the bathroom. 20 minutes later, and I was yeah, done for the day. I believe that. Um, what kind of wings did you... I mean, what kind of chips did you put it on? Uh, just like uh, the Stacy's just pita chips. Oh, okay. Um, I, w I wasn't trying to like go all out. I, w I will say, though, um, <laughs> I can't imagine eating a whole wing with that hot sauce on it. Well, I'm going to. At some point. Even on the show, though, they only put a drop on there, right? No, they coat the wing. I thought they just dropped it uh -uh. on there. They add a dab. Oh. They, it's it's completely covered in the sauce, and then they add a dab of oh. it on top. Damn. Yep. Okay. So, I will do that eventually. Not tomorrow. <laughs> Probably be, not within the next your, week. I'll be in your corner. Thank you. It's That'd be bad. a fun, like, Twitch stream. Yeah. Just you know, and I'll just going all out. Um, they smell evil. It, it, it doesn't. I love it, evil. But I, I, I don't know. It, it's just you know. I liked that I was able to look back on today and just say that's something I didn't do yesterday, yeah. or I I'm not usually going to be able to have that experience. All right. So yeah, I don't know. Take from that what you will, but. Uh, it was nice to reflect and be more mindful oh, over okay. a very busy oh. week of Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, but anyway. If you want to get busy, though, like get busy. I'm going to let Perry tell me what he just, what is this? this Why are you making that face? Because this is another Knob Creek sample. What is what is happening right now? This is a liquor barn, Knob Creek pick. Okay. From the Blue Rose special line. Do you remember when those? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the 16 year old. What? What is happening right now? <laughs> this came from the same guy who sold me this bottle. You said you were going to tease this later. This is not it. <laughs> what? I thought this. I'm so confused right now. Nope, there's more. There's more. I just wanted us to drink this. We don't even have to do it on the on the podcast. Suck it, content hogs. You don't get everything. 
But if you want everything else, you can go to <laughs> patreon.com slash my podcast. <laughs> For as little as a dollar a month, you can support the show. And at five dollars, you get all the bonus stuff. You get the pregame chats, you get ports from the board, you it's get so sadly late. irresistible, you get pumped, you go, oh, oh. And you're the only ones that get it because you're part of the Patreon and you can join the Discord. But that's the best place to get all the content and help us out. Just do it. I, don't, I was going to try to do some speech, but just do it. Just just do it. Join the Patreon. Um, if you want to get some merch, you can go to bourbonshop.fellas.com. Perry has tons of designs on there. There's random stuff that pops up in your email that says 25% off. You can get some merch. You can support the show that way. You can walk around and say, this is my bourbon pocket. This is my bourbon drinking shirt. Um, if you want to send us an email, if you want to ask us to review something, you want to ask a question that doesn't want to be, you can say, hey, don't read this out on the show or whatever. We'll just reply to you. Yeah, we'll separately. just talk to you. you. We'll send you where to send stuff. This is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. If you want to follow us on all social media, at my bourbon pod, at prider1792, at whiskey mutant. Been doing some 69 second videos that don't actually last 69 seconds. What? They never do. Never do. <laughs> Towers don't matter. It's more about enthusiasm. It is. It is. It is. Follow us on all social media. You can go to Facebook. We have a Facebook group. This is my Burn Podcast Facebook group. Answer a few questions. Put it on there. We put uh, show updates on there. When we have barrel picks, we put stuff on there. It's, it's, it's probably the second place to get all the uh, info uh, other than Patreon. Um, what else? What else? Go to YouTube. All the videos go up every Friday. You can watch this if you want to. If you can wait, the episodes go up on Wednesday. If you can be patient and you want to see stuff, you want to see our faces, you can see all the episodes there. They come up on Friday. Otherwise, you can go back and watch them. Uh, Perry goes live every Thursday. He went mm -hmm. live a little early this week because mm -hmm. it was holiday. Mm -hmm. But yeah, YouTube, go to My Bourbon Podcast. Um, yeah, yeah. The, live, the live streams are doing way better than I <laughs> than they have in a long time. Well, they should be. Yeah, you it's fun it. times. You I have a, I have a good time doing that. Um, also, rate and review the podcast. Uh, it. it is a great way for us to get up in the algorithm. Uh, when you search bourbon, say, in like the, the Apple podcast. Yeah, yeah at the Apple podcast app. Um, <laughs> there's a better chance that we will show up when you search for bourbon. Uh, if you do leave a, a rating and a review, same with uh, Spotify, same with uh, the other things, the uh, all the anyway. stuff. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, do the stuff. Tell people about it. Hit us, that bell. Letter. Hit it. Hit it. All the stuff. What are we doing next week? Next week. Oh, next week actually might might be an interview. Oh yeah. What are you doing that for? <laughs> Because it might be a follow up to another episode that we've done recently that people were I'm a gonna little get, bit up on. I'm going to get murdered. I'm going to get murdered. Yeah, I'll chance. probably get murdered. Hey, there's always a chance that you're going to get murdered. That's true. Yeah. And get canceled. Yep. We'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm Perry. I'm Eric. And this is my bourbon podcast. Not canceled yet. Not yet. Hashtag not canceled yet. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs>